the third event that we will be honoring for the 23rd annual awards event took place on Mauna Kea. We get a call about nine at night for a injured hiker on Mauna Kea. An individual who had been taking photographs off trail and fell and broke his leg. He says he's, he thinks his uh, right femur is fractured, so that's a bad fracture. The temperature has already dropped. It's probably about 30 degrees. He was able to get cell phone contact and report his situation where he was not able to extricate himself from the mountain. We made it to the top of the mountain. We met with Company 50, and we got together with the group that was actually going to hike in. We get the GPS coordinates. We're at the top by the observatories and it shows that he's like directly below us. And he was about a mile or more off down the backside of the mountain. There's no roads to get there, so there was no road that we could drive to get any closer to him that we could have, other than being at the very top of the observatory where he parked and walked down. And uh, when we got to him, he was in shorts and a windbreaker, I think. And we put him in a skids, and um, we package him up, and he's a big guy. He's, I would say, over six feet, 200 pounds. He was a large, large guy, so he had to put up with some stuff too. He was definitely in pain, and he was definitely cold, you know, but he was super fortunate the weather conditions were um, favorable. It was clear out, and I think all of us were lucky that whole night never rained. So during the rescue, we had to be mindful of symptoms of altitude sickness, but the air is thin, and uh, you know, it took a while to recover and catch your breath after each movement. Multiple times where you'd set the guy down and you stand up and you're totally dizzy, lightheaded. And Our station's at sea level and we went from sea level to 13,000 plus feet. We were, uh, we were very worried about altitude sickness and we didn't have any time to acclimate at like 9,000 feet prior to getting up to the top because time was of the essence. And we had to monitor each other and and monitor ourselves and be honest, like if you're having a problem that we need to take a break. Because you don't really know how the lack of oxygen is gonna affect you until you're in it. There was there were some lifts and stuff like that where we had to take longer breaks to let everybody recover so we could keep going because we, we couldn't afford to have another medical emergency or someone get hurt. We all had to make it out in one trip. Like by the time we got to the top, we were done. <laughs> that, that was it. It was a one-way trip. It took over three and a half hours to navigate the one-mile distance and the 700-foot elevation gain while carrying the patient. The rescuers worked tirelessly despite an air temperature in the 30s and altitude sickness. He was very uh, grateful and apologetic because it took so long and it was so hard for him to carry him up. But yeah, he was a good sport. It was hard. and. It'd be hard to be in a skids for that long. It took several teams to provide this rescue for the individual. Over the years, we you know we've we've done multiple rescues with Company 50, so we've created a good relationship, a good working relationship with those guys. And there's no way four of us would be able to carry him out. Uh, it took ten of us, and it took a rotation, and it was hard for everybody involved. We needed each other. It was a good interagency, you know, operation that came out well, and that's why I think it's a, it's important that they be recognized for this. And it took a lot of teamwork, but it was a long, a long haul. The Daniel R. Sarah Memorial Foundation is extremely proud to present the award for meritorious service above and beyond the call of duty to Hawaii Fire Department Company 2 and Medic 3. And we're also providing special recognition for other uh, members of the team that assisted the Hawaii Fire Department, the Pahakaloa Training Area Team, and also Mauna Kea Ranger, Oscar Paoa. Thank you so much for all that you do for our community each year. We're extremely proud to present this very well-deserved award to you.